Hey boys and girls, it's me, the Christian Gamer, coming to you straight from the Vatican, bringing swear-free video game reviews to all Christian gamers out there. Parents' discretion for all the parents out there. This certain episode of Christian Gamer contains sensitive content such as Atheism, child exploitation, evolutionist points of view, sodomy, Richard Dawkins, the Chinese, men drink sewer waste, Ben Shapiro, the Federal Bureau investigation, Reddit, black people. Let's get right into it. Welcome. Hello. This experiment is designed to advance our understanding of evolution. By participating, you help us gather data needed to create more accurate simulations. Do you consent? I don't consent. Don't touch me when he is not molesting underage boys and indoctrinating them with his immoral lies. Richard Dawkins, evolutionary biologist, likes to use his influence to poison the sacred Steam store page, sanctuary to only the highest quality games and entertainment. Cell to singularity, evolution never ends, is a free clicker game on Steam and the works of atheists. As their parasitic nature dictates that they cannot reproduce by themselves, preying on unsuspecting children that are browsing the free games section so that they can spread their filthy rhetoric. It is not much of a game either. You have to click stuff in order to gain entropy. And the microtransaction currency is called Darwinium, which really puts into perspective that this game is made for the intellectual and analytical minds only found on Reddit. And what do you do with entropy? Well, you buy new upgrades and creatures. Like the moon, tapeworm, lizards, Kajo, god, I wish I had one, chromosomes, god, I wish I had one, and pigment spots that somehow make flatworms twice as efficient. Efficient at what? Infecting my guts? The goal of the game is to play as god, to create life and watch it rip around in its misery, overcrowded, as you completely ravage your mouse to get over the completely shit phasing. I tried switching to a g**k language, but it seems that the game does not pander to the East Asian audience and did not give me any advantages. And when I got bored and I tried exiting the game, this stared back at me and I said it was not worth it, so I continued to violate my mouse. Poor thing. Poor fucking thing. Which brings me to the only way of beating this game, alt tabbing watching some YouTube, reading the new posts on your Discord server, messing around in Photoshop and fucking forgetting about it. But what is a good review video without a verdict? And how am I to reach a verdict without reaching the end of the game? To do that, I had to numb my brain with chemical support. Tap water. All right, here it goes. You can see that uh, it is clearly pigmented, so to say. Doesn't look very clean to me, but what can you do, you know? Bottoms up. Oh, fuck me. <coughs> oh, God. Immediately, I could see the difference. The clicks were no longer meticulous, no longer a grind. They transformed into a chorus of a billion insects, a constant reminder of what I am to become. A maggot, an asset, a shadow of a man. I will keep stroking my ego with these games. I will keep watching pseudo-intellectual media. I will keep scrolling Reddit and smoking weed. I will become the shallow, predictable insect society wants me to be. Oh look, it's my grandfather. My mind will become analytical. I will become smart. I will get those Reddit upvotes and people will upload my intelligence. I need information, facts, truths. I read every Wikipedia page, watched every Big Bang episode. Twice. What's that? Facts. Huh. Interesting. At some point you get to create civilizations and a new idea currency appears. And with that you get to create religion. Get it? Do you fucking get it? 
What are these statistics? From the Federal Bureau of Information. Information. Interesting. Very, very interesting. You know, I'm starting to believe this game was made in an afternoon. With the purpose of selling Darwinium. Or whatever the fuck it's called like. I cannot go back. I used to like black people. They were funny and shit. Like little monkeys. But Richard Dawkins had to ruin that. I mean, you can progress through the whole game without even developing sanitation. What's that supposed to mean? What are you hinting at, Richard? Oh well, there is no turning back to ignorance now. I will ascend as the ultimate racist. This is your fault, Richard Dawkins.